Good morning yes. from London, you guys. Good morning. This city <laughs> is known for a lot of things, mm -hmm. such as the amazing food, the unique architecture. Mm -hmm. But one thing that we heard a lot when we first told people that we were coming here was how expensive it is. Yes. And we are sure that a lot of you have heard the same thing. Mm -hmm. So we've been living here for about six weeks now, and we thought it would be cool if we took you with us for a typical day in London and showed you how expensive it really is. So a typical day for us here in the city is started by us buying breakfast out. Yes. <laughs> we should probably cook to keep the cost down, but we just love going out and getting breakfast together. Mm -hmm. This spot is called Toast Rack and it's so good. It's amazing. We recently discovered it. It's like our little hidden gem. Mm -hmm. It's got great coffee mm -hmm. and even better food. Mm -hmm. For you. Anything else? No, Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Wow, this is the best. This right here is the Sobrasada, and it is one of the most beautiful plates ever. It is, and it's my new favorite breakfast dish. I got the shakshuka, which shakshuka is always her go to, always. So good. If you're ever in London, you gotta come check Toast Rack out. Yes, you do. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god. So good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh gosh, that was so good. So it's good. always the best mm -hmm. breakfast. We picked up two more coffees also, so that adds on to that price that you saw. Yeah. But yeah, you be the judge of that. That's a pretty expensive breakfast. It is. <laughs> but that's a typical one here in London. So the first month that we were here, we were super centrally located at the Airbnb we were staying at. But now the Airbnb we're in is on the other side of the Thames River and it adds a lot. Yeah, it takes to, a while. <laughs> to our daily commute. Uh -huh. That gives us the perfect opportunity to show you guys right now how efficient and affordable the public transportation is here in London. favorite things to do on a typical day in London is to visit one of the many amazing museums that they have here. Right now we're headed to one of our personal favorites which is the Tate Modern. Yes and the best part is all museums in London are free. Well it seems that way. All the ones we've yeah. been to since being here for the past six weeks has been completely free for us to enter. I could sit around and wait all day That place is always so nice. Stunning. Yeah. Always. That's our first time back in like mm -hmm. a year and a half. Yeah. 
Anyways, we are ready for lunch and there's this great pasta spot that is right next to yeah, us. Yeah, and it's super affordable, I think. And we're close enough to take one of our favorite nice. modes of transportation, which are the line bikes all mm -hmm. over the city because you get a great view while you're riding through the city of just all the beauty yeah. that there is here. And they're all over the place and affordable. Mm -hmm. Got it! <laughs> For a sign, turn back time, see fairy tale soul, awake and alive. Everything about you is honest and true. What do you say? Can you picture? Here at St. Catherine's Dock, which is such a cute area. It really is. The bike rides were five pounds each. Yeah, about five pounds each. Yeah, for and that ride. as you can see, very beautiful ride. <laughs> this spot. It's called Emilia's mm -hmm. and they have incredible homemade pasta and I don't know if it's just a hidden gem or something because it's very empty right yeah. now. Well but it also is like past lunchtime a little bit <laughs> and but before it's, dinner. It's open till 8 <laughs> so yeah. maybe I don't know yeah if this is overrated then sorry but we love 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 this spot. It's I'm so good. good. Cheers baby. Yes. <laughs> Your sparkling water? Sparkling water, yeah. Is it good? It's very good. <laughs> oh, wow. Is it good? Mmm. I'm excited. The burrata is so creamy. Oh, there it is. It smells so good. What'd you get? I got the pesto. No, 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 get your filthy paws out of there. No, give me one more bite. Let me get a bite. That looks so good. This is a big bite. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> is it really good? Oh, that was so good. It's really, really good. We, got, we ordered a lot. Yeah, I, I know it looks way more expensive than we thought it was going to be because mm -hmm. we said you said it was affordable yeah we but there. his drink was ten dollars yeah ten pounds and then we also got a starter and a dessert yeah, so which last time we only got pasta and the pasta is like literally twelve dollars it, it came out last time to like 25 pounds so yeah. if you just get a pasta dish it'll be very affordable mm -hmm. but if you're extra like us then it comes out to like yeah. 65 pounds <laughs> but anyways right now the sun is setting so yes. it's really beautiful around here we just want to walk around mm -hmm. and take it all in and this is the great thing about London is this is completely free yes. and it's a perfect activity. now at our Airbnb and we definitely want to show you what this place looks like and go over that part of living in London because heads up it is 
crazy expensive mm -hmm. <laughs> the market here the airbnb market so definitely want to go over that but first let's talk about what we do in a typical night for dinner yes <laughs> so this is not sponsored by the way no we just are genuine fans of hellofresh if anybody out there knows how to hook us up with the hellofresh sponsorship definitely send them our way because yes, we please. are believers um, we love them a typical night here is we choose one of the recipes from our week we have like mm -hmm. four recipes throughout the week that we will go through we're doing the we're doing sticky, sticky beef, beef rice bowl Okay, so while she is finishing serving dinner, I want to talk to you guys about the Airbnb. So check this place out. It's really actually beautiful and nice for London. This is about the typical size that you will find, despite how expensive this is that I'm about to tell you. It's actually the most reasonably priced one that we could find, especially because the location. It's not very centrally located, as we mentioned, and that took the price down a little bit. But still, this comes out to a whopping 3000 five hundred dollars for a month and that's by far the most that we have spent on an airbnb out of all of our traveling and it comes out to 116 dollars per night okay let's give this a try oh my gosh this looks good I'm baby starving cheers Mmm. Mmm. HelloFresh always kills it. So, all things considered today, we spent about $150 on food, $30 on transportation, mm -hmm. $0 on activities, $116 on our accommodation, and the total comes out to about $300 for the day for two people. Yes, that is true. So, split that in half for you, but obviously mm -hmm. accommodation, you wouldn't split in half. Mm -hmm. All in all, what do you guys think? Is this more or less expensive than you expected for London? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Besides that, we love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with us today, yes. and we hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you next week.